Hello, Amazon.com. It is me, Bo Shevisu. Today, we are going to be testing two items that actually come in the same pack here on Amazon. We've got the stun baton and pepper spray. <laughs> two. Okay, so we are here with Gigi. We actually teach and train self-defense, and so she's very familiar with grappling. However, today, she is going to show how to use this stun baton on her uncle, me, yours truly, Bo Shevisu. I really don't like doing this. Already my palms are sweaty, because it's not pleasant at all. But I put my life on the line so that you don't have to. Now, first of all, to engage this, she, she's gonna push the button up, to turn the flashlight on. You see that? So you would use that mode, let's say, if you were walking your dog. Let's say someone jumped out of the bushes. Then she pushes it all the way forward. See that red light? That, that's the indicator that it's actually armed. All she has to do is push. Oh, this is where it gets real, guys. Okay, so she's gonna push it and then pop it right on my arm. Right, here we go. So what it feels like is like you have a whole bunch of little needles that just stabs into your arm and your arm seizes up. Something to keep in mind, it's the noise that gets to you psychologically. So for a reasonable person, go ahead and do it, do it again there. For a reasonable person, that freaks you out. However, how many reasonable people are most likely going to be attacking you? Do you know what I mean? So for that, I would recommend the mace because that allows you to keep your distance. You don't want to get super close to someone. Even if they have something like this, if they're crazy, they're going to push through this and it might even kick the hornet's nest and make them more angry. Firearm or mace allows you to keep that distance. However, if this, if you need something in your hand, sure. Why not get this? I wanted to see how far this pepper spray actually goes. What is unique about this is that you can press this all you'd like. It's not gonna do anything. What's unique about this is it has a cap. When you push it up like so, you can slide your thumb underneath it. Let's simulate being about six feet away. I'm going to be here. The uh, suspect will be here. And I just pulled it out of, out of the package. I'm gonna lift it up like this. Three, two, one, squirt like that. Oh, very nice. But what I like about this package is that there's distance management and also if your opponent gets too close, you have something like this. We are actually going to test to see how long this thing lasts. So let's say there are multiple opponents, right? If this thing only lasts two seconds, there you go. So we are going to turn it on and three, two, one, go ahead. And pause. Wow, wow that, that is well over 10 seconds already. I'm surprised that it's still going. Now, according to the instructions, you're not supposed to have it on for that long, but push it to its limits. So what is the final verdict? The final takeaway? Obviously, distance management is the best form of self-defense. If you're close enough, the stun baton, it might be better than some hands and some palm strikes, although honestly, you don't have to prepare anything for a good punch. If you can get into self-defense, condition those blows. Know how to strike with your palm or your claws, anything but keys in your fist. That is one of the biggest myths ever. I'm gonna put my, my keys in my fist like Wolverine. It won't do anything, I, I'm really sorry, but all the little hipsters teaching the college course self-defense classes, it's a myth. Just punch, use your knuckles or slap as hard as you can with your palm. Of course, if you need to use the stun baton, again, it's the psychology behind the zapping that gets you. You will notice at the very beginning of this video that we actually tested the stun baton on Gigi herself and then also her brother Tristan. And you'll see they didn't really jump that much. That's because we surprised them. And they were actually surprised that it kind of felt like a little pinprick, but then when I myself and then my friend Tom, when, when we had it done on ourselves, it felt a lot worse because they actually counted down and we knew it was coming, so psychologically, it trips you up. So that is your biggest form of defense, or rather deterrent, when it comes to a stun baton, is actually zapping. Hey, you better stay away. 
At the end of the day, the mace I would recommend is the best possible thing for the most amount of people because you can keep that distance. It lingers in the air. As a matter of fact, after we stopped filming, I was coughing a little bit. The residual was still in that environment. So be very, very mindful that the mace, it, it, it's powerful. So go out, get the pepper spray, go out and get some real world self-defense training. And if you can afford to train with firearms, absolutely do that. That's the best possible thing at the end of the day. So I hope that this review is helpful in determining whether or not this Sabre package is right for you. My name is Bo Shevasu.